Hello class, Mr. Lau here going through with your lab 8 on extended ACL. Okay, this is a topology here. We have R1 here connected to two local area network 10.0 and 10.32. R3 here connected to a single local area network 30.128. Both routers are connected through WAN links and they are connected to R2. Okay, R2 is also, is also connected to the company web server here and it's also connected to the internet where we where we have our outside web server and our outside host. Okay, let's go to the task right now. Okay. Okay. Task two. Okay, configuring numbered standard ACL. Okay, this is a policy. Okay, we'll go through the policy again later. Okay, let's first determine the wildcard. Okay. Wildcard calculation. I hope none of you have is having problem. Okay, let's if so, okay, let's go through one example. Okay, calculating your wildcard is actually quite simple. First you need to determine the subnet mass of the network. Okay, in this case, okay, let's use this first one as an example. Slash twenty seven. Okay. Okay, let's use my pen. Okay, slash twenty seven. Okay, if you calculate the subnet mass slash twenty seven is actually two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two two four okay so that will be the subnet mask for slash twenty seven okay once you got the subnet mask just take two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five minus the subnet mask this will give you zero dot zero dot zero dot thirty one okay this will be the wildcard for a slash 27. Similarly, if you use the same method to calculate for slash 28 and slash 26, you will get this two wildcard. Okay. okay. Next. Okay. Testing the connectivity. Okay. You shouldn't have any problem testing your connectivity. Okay. Perhaps this part, FPC1 is able to FTP to the company FTP server using command prompt. Okay, so to do that, okay, you got to go to PC1. Okay, let's close this one. Okay, you got to go to PC1 over here. Okay, when you start PC1, start the command prompt. Okay, to test FTP, you got to type in the command FTP and then the address 209.165.17.200. Okay, they'll ask you for a username, which is DCPE, and the password is when. Okay, then if you see login, that means your FTP connection is being allowed and is successful. Okay, just click quit and then you're out of the FTP. Okay, this is to test your FTP connectivity. Okay, okay, now we need to determine the statement. Okay, just um a brief explanation of extended ACL. Okay, extended ACL compared to standard ACL. Extended ACL can filter based on protocol type source and destination address source and destination port number okay compared to standard acl standard acl only matches the source ip address it doesn't look at the destination ip address it doesn't look at the protocol type it doesn't care about the port number okay what this mean is okay okay if i have a router here okay and if i have an acl apply here acl going in Okay, this means that the packets, all the IP packets, okay, IP packet will have IP address in the packet header. You also have port number. Okay, if you only have standard ACL being applied here, it means that the ACL will only look at the source IP address and decide whether is it a match or not a match. So every packet that pass through this interface it will look at only the source IP address and decide is it a match or not a match. If you are running extended ACL, it can. Okay, this ACL will look at both the source destination IP. You also look at the source and destination port number. You will also look at the protocol type of this packet. Okay, they will check is it a TCP packet, is it a UDP packet, or is it an ICMP packet. Or you can even say that. I don't care what kind of packet, as long as it's an IP packet. Okay, then it's a match. Okay, when you say IP, it means all the IP packets, including TCP, 
UDP and ICMP. Okay, so with extended ACL, it allow you to specify more things to match. Okay, and then decide whether you want to permit or deny the packet once all the parameters have been matched. Okay. Okay, let's look at. Okay, extended ACL because you can specify the destination. You should put it as close to the source as possible so that the packet don't travel all the way to the destination and in the end you're going to deny the packet and then you're wasting the bandwidth. Okay, and extended ACL should use a number between 100 to 199, 2000 to 2699. Okay, if the packet goes to the router and it doesn't match one of the rules, it will be by default being dropped. So there will be an implicit deny any at the end of every ACL, similar to standard ACL. Um, you can use the keyword any and host to specify all the address or a single IP address, similar to standard ACL also. Okay, now let's look at the policy and how do we implement the rules. Okay, this, okay, the first policy state that, okay, the first network 10.0 is denied web access to all location. Okay, web access is a TCP protocol. Okay, web is HTTP, it uses TCP as a transport layer protocol. So that's why we put the protocol type as TCP here. Okay, then we put the source address. Source is from 192.168.10. Destination is going to all location. So this is a source. Okay, the source address, source worker. Destination, all location is any. Okay, and web access. Web access meaning port 80. HTTP is port 80. Okay, so now if any other PC from the source try to connect to any destination and the destination port is trying to connect its port 80, it will be denied. Okay. Okay, the next policy states that okay, PC in this network 10.0. Okay, it's the same network. It's also denied FTP access to a particular website or to a particular server that is your company web server okay ftp is a, also a tcp protocol okay so we will deny tcp from source the same source to the destination this single company web server okay and it's denying ftp access so you're going to specify what port is it being denied so it's denied to connect to port 21 of the ftp server okay then all other traffic is are being allowed. Okay, when we say all other traffic, this should include IP. Okay, this will mean that you will you have to put in IP here because IP will include TCP, UDP, and ICMP. Source from any source to any destination. Okay, so all other traffic will be allowed. Okay, where do we implement this ACL one zero one? So this ACL one zero one got three rules. We are going to implement it. Can remember extend the ACL as close to the source as possible. Let's go back to the topology again. Okay, this is the source. Okay, the source is here. Okay, as close to the source as possible, it will be R1. Okay, and the closest interface will be FA00. Okay, the rules is basically to prevent or to permit okay, traffic from this network going okay, out. Okay, so we're going to implement it on FA00 going into FA00. Okay, so we are going to implement FA00 going in. Okay, so that's for the first policy. Okay, the second policy. Okay, the second policy is for the other network that's connected to R1. Okay, the 10.32 network. Okay, the 10.32 network is allowed web access to the company web server. So we're going to permit web access against TCP. Okay, this network, okay, this is a source and this is the destination. Okay, this will be the source network and source wildcard. This is the destination, the company web server. And it's allowed web access. So the port that the destination port will be port 80. Okay, the same network is denied all other access. That means I only allow port 80 
all other access is being denied. So, okay, so all other access means I can't only at deny TCP, I must in include also UDP, ISMP, and all other IP packet. That's why the protocol is IP. Okay, and it's denied to access this web server. Okay, when you say IP, there's no need to specify the port number. Okay, or you can't even specify it. Okay, you can need specific port number when you're using TCP or UDP. Okay. Okay, the last one will be is this network is denied to send ICMP packet, echo packet to this particular IP address. Oh, sorry, this particular network. So ICMP is a protocol here from this network to this network. Okay. And okay, what do you put behind here? Okay. Okay, this is where you can use packet tracer to help you. Okay, let's try this ACL. Okay, now we are in packet tracer. Okay, let's open up R1. Okay, let's try to type in the access control lead. Okay, now we are in R1. We go to config mode. Okay, let's put this up. Okay, let's look at the rules. Okay, so this is the rules. Okay, let's type in access, please. 102 deny ICMP 192.168.10.32.0.0.0.15. Okay, and then the destination. Okay. This is where there's a blank here you're supposed to fill up. You're not sure what to fill up, just use the question mark. Okay, as you use the question mark, you'll notice these are the things that you can type in. And in our rules, we say we're going to deny ICMP echo packet. Okay, and there's a keyword echo here. This means that you can use a keyword echo in this command. Okay, and then press enter. Okay, this will be the full command you can type in. So notice ICMP, you don't have to type in the keyword equal okay you just simply type in after the destination ip address and the wildcard just type in what icmp protocol you're going to permit or deny okay okay next okay which router we're going to implement it again this network okay this network is connected to r1 okay over here Okay, so the closest router will be R1 and the closest interface will be FA00. Okay, similarly, okay, the source is here. Okay, so the direction of traffic will be from this network going into FA00. Okay, sorry, going into FA01. Okay, so we're going to implement our FA01 and going in for ACL102. Okay. Okay, lastly, okay, you can use keyword instead of port number. Okay, how do you find out what is the keyword you can use? Okay, again, use the question marks that can, can help you. Okay, for example, okay, I'm going to implement this access control list. Okay, I'm going to implement this access list 102 permit TCP from 192.168.10.32. Fifteen or host two zero nine dot one six five dot seventeen dot two hundred equal. Okay, you can use the question mark here. Okay, when you use the question mark, okay, these are the keyword you can use. Okay, in this in the real Cisco router you can have a whole list of keyword, but in package tracer we only support these few keywords. Okay, and these are the the one in brackets is the port number. So you notice for port eighty the keyword I can use is www. For port FTP of port 21, we can use the keyword FTP. Okay, so this will help. Okay, use the question mark, allow you to find out the keyword. Same as when you try to find out for ICMP. Okay, implement the ACL. After you implement this, okay, okay, you should be able to get this result. Okay, so that's all for task two.